Hello, fellow Smashers. It's Lukash here, coming with you once again with another Super Smash Flash 2 video. And today I'm going to be talking about Pit and why I feel that Pit is one of the most underrated characters in the game and possibly even one of the best characters in the game in Super Smash Flash 2. So I'm sorry for everything playing in the background that it's really laggy. Um, like, like I recorded in my last Smash Flash video, I'm recording it from my Chromebook, and my Chromebook does not run good frame rate at all. Um, but okay, so Pit in Smash Flash 2 is really good. He has really big, fast aerials, and he has really flashy combos. And he operates kind of like Melee, Melee or even Smash Ultimate Jigglypuff works where he'll just hit you with a stray hit, and he can carry you to the to the side blast zone if you're skilled enough. Um, one thing that's really good about Pit, other than just his aerials, it's the amount of um, the amount of tools of his kit that just combo into his aerials. For instance, his down tilt is almost it's almost as good as a Peach down tilt in Smash Ultimate. It literally combos into all of Pit's aerials, including a reverse back air, which is pretty huge. Um, so, uh, on top of that, his up tilt also combos into his up air and, and neutral air. Um, on top of that, just on a side note, it also becomes a kill confirm into his up air at later percents. So that is really nice. Also, his forward tilt, um, if you get hit the sweet spot of the forward tilt, the four tilt will also combo into um, either a neutral air or a forward air or pretty much whatever aerial you, aerial you want. So that's pretty good. Another thing that's good about um, pits that I feel is hugely underrated are his throws. So at first glance, when you look at Pit and his throws, you'll think, oh wow, his throws look really good. But that's where a lot of people are actually kind of wrong. I know I just said his throws are good and all, but his throws are only as good as the other player makes them. Or at least that, that's how it works with his down throw. Because for those of you that haven't really been playing um, Pit all that often in Smash Flash 2, his down throw combos into, you know, like whatever aerial, aerial you want. It also um, combos into itself at very low percents. But if they DI out, um, you can't really get much of anything unless you do like a run-up uh, forward air. That's pretty much it. Um, this is actually pretty huge because this means that he does not have a kill confirm off of down throw. But this is why I say that his throws are all very underrated. Although Pit um, doesn't really have a throw that just will flat out kill your opponent. All of his throws have a very short knockback, and depending on where the opponent DIs, um, at least two of his throws can kill confirm um, based off of DI. Um, and one throw, uh, his forward throw, is actually a true kill confirm no matter where they DI, I believe. You just have to react on what they, what their DI is. Um, I believe it's forward throw into up air. Um, on top of that, if you're fast enough um, and your opponent isn't really expecting it, you can also combo forward air into pit side, which is another great option, which I will get into soon. Um, also, uh, dark pits, or sorry, pit, um, his back throw, um, is also a DI-dependent um, combo throw. Um, except I'm not entirely sure if it's um, exactly true, but it's pretty darn close to being a true kill confirm if it isn't a true kill confirm into an up air or whatever. So um, I'm also going to talk just right now really quick about what makes um, Pit's aerial so good. Uh, I glanced over this a little bit earlier. Um, so pretty much every single one of Pitt's aerials can combo into each other. Um, his neutral air, you can even get some drag down combos going on. Um, you can do drag down neutral air, which combos into grab. Um, his drag down neutral air um, also combos into jab, which is another hugely underestimated combo starter for Pitt. 
Um, it sends them at literally the perfect angle to get um, a neutral air. So technically, you could do falling neutral air into jet into um, jab and then reset it, but that that stuff's pretty hard, um, and only works like if your opponent doesn't really mix up their DI at all. Um, also, uh, another another some aerials once again that I said that that is really blind for Pit. Everyone says that oh wow, Pit Pit is such a bad character because his aerials. Are all multi hits. That's ac that actually makes him ten times better. I don't know what everyone else is talking about, but if you really look at it, just the fact that that um, three of his aerials are multi hits are huge. For instance, his up air is a multi hit, and you can get some drag down combos with it. Pretty much the short of it is every single one of his aerials that are multi hit, you can do drag down combos with them. Um, certainly, more different aerials are a lot easier and harder to uh, do drag down combos with like neutral air is super easy to do drag down combos on but the fact is it's still there um and another very much um over glanced aspect of pit is his down air um it's really hard to get the spike but if you do get the spike i have actually had that thing kill um a human opponent at 10 percent um they were they were pretty much parallel to the stage, um, the off stage obviously when I did it, but it sent them down like super far. Even characters with some of the best recoveries in the game wouldn't be able to recover from that. So pits down air is really good if you can get the spike. But even if you don't get the spike, it combos into um, pretty much everything. It also combos into back air, which is huge. Um, so pretty much one of the one of the final things I'm going to talk about in this video are Pit's reliability when it comes to just moves that just kill you. This this doesn't necessarily mean um like kill confirms and all that jazz. Like I said, Pit has a healthy amount of kill confirms. Like he has down tilt, um, which kill confirms as well as up tilt and grabs um with all the DI stuff. But he just has raw power as well. Um if you don't know, uh, Pit's down smash kills very early, and it's super fast and covers both parts of his body. Um, it's also very much lagless and is really safe on shield. Um, so that's very nice. Um, Pit's forward smash is good too because it hits twice, but it's not as good as his down smash. Um, one thing I will say, though, that hasn't been underestimated about pit is his up smash that that's really bad actually um but that's pretty much like his only move which i can just flat out say is bad all of his moves are good um i haven't really dug in that much into his special moves but all of pit's special moves are really good um his worst special move is probably his down b because that's um very much matchup dependent because it can reflect projectiles but Speaking of projectiles, Pit has one of the best, if not the best projectile in the game in Super Smash Flash 2. I don't really use it that much, but his arrows, they do 12%. And if, you're, if your aim is good enough, you, you will always manage to get your arrows to hit an airborne opponent. Um, on top of that, his arrows can kind of function like Falco's lasers from Melee, which um, I find super interesting as well. So you're just going to be piling up all sorts of damage with those things and racking up the combos and everything. Um, I just really quickly to glance over, uh, Pit's back air is just a move. It will kill you like super quickly. Um, I have had that move kill a human opponent at I think around 70, like 75%. Um, I believe I killed a Captain Falcon at 75% with Pitt's back air. Sure, the DI wasn't perfect, but it was still good DI, and he just died to it. He uh, he wasn't really that close even to the blast zone. He kind of just, like, died. <laughs> so, like I said, Pitt's back air is super strong. Um, grossly underestimated. On top of that, if you if you do, like, you know, the forward air Jigglypuff combos with pit um i have done this before and i did this on a laggy computer 
as well. Um, you can you can combo the forward air into the instant reverse back air, and that that is huge. It means that essentially you can close out stocks at like forty percent next to the blast zone. So that is huge. Um, so really, all of Pit's Pit has a lot of kill options. Um, that's the short of what I was saying. And he's just all around a fundamentally great character. He's he's fast. Um, I didn't even mention this, but his dash attack also kill confirms, which is a big deal because it's fast, decently safe on shield because it, it crosses you up. Um, so it's just, yeah, he's all around one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion. Um, he's pretty much like, I know, like you could argue, oh, well, Mario is a fundamental character, but I'm not saying that he's underrated. Uh, yeah, but have you seen Pitt's recovery? Like, look at this. I can go all the way down here and I can recover without even risking getting ledge hogged because of how long it just reaches. On top of that, you can side B and then up B afterwards. Like I didn't, I didn't um, get the jump out in time, but that is also huge. Um, so that's he's just really good, is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, he's a he's a sound character in every aspect. He can camp you with his he can camp you with his um, arrows, and he can just punish you up close for even the slightest mistakes. So that's going to be it for this video. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, join the Discord in the description below for um, more content to, and also like just to just talk about Smash with uh, fellow Smash players. So um, just an FYI, I don't just do uh, Smash Flash content on my channel. I do Smash Flash as well as Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So, all right, have a great day, and I hope you keep on smashing.